What's up, but it's Rob, this is Apparel Success. And if you're running a clothing brand right now, or you're thinking about running one, this video here is gonna show you what a $70,000 month looks like. I want to take you behind the scenes and share all the details and just expose all the numbers for my own clothing brand in the month of November that just passed. The reason why I wanna do this is because when I was starting up my clothing brand, this is something that I really wanted to see just so I could learn the ins and outs of how much money they were spending on advertising, how much money they were making each day of the month and what the month actually looked like. So I want to expose all this for you so that you can get a better grip on it and you can almost foreshadow your brand into the future and really figure out how this will work for you. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if designs are something that you need help with, I really recommend that you try them out. A year later, these are still some of the best selling designs on my website, and I got them all made through Design Crowd. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you, or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. Okay, so my plan here is to be very open with you and share with you all of the numbers for my clothing brand in the month of November in the hopes that this will really help you see what it looks like to run a clothing brand behind the scenes and see how everything breaks down. So I wanna show you the numbers of the past month that I just went through, which included the whole Black Friday sale, how all of it broke down. And I also wanna to talk to you a little bit at the end about how I strategically plan the month and how I sort of envisioned the month and designed the month to get these results. So. Let's jump right into it. The total online sales for my clothing brand in the month of November, and this is all through Shopify, is $68,320.25. And 666 orders made up these total sales. I know that's kind of a creepy number of orders that I received in the month of November, but we received 666 orders through the website. And the total amount of money that I spent on advertising in the month of November and this is between Facebook ads and TikTok ads, is $16,162.45. Now, the way that this breaks down is on Facebook ads, I spent $11,317.82 on ads, and on TikTok ads, I spent $4,844.63 and 63 cents on ads. So let's get more into how the month really broke down in terms of timing, when everything took place, and what caused everything to take place. So inside of the month of November, I ran a Black Friday sale from November 22nd until November 29th, which is a Monday to a Monday. So I started the Black Friday sale the Monday before Black Friday, and I ended the Black Friday sale on the Monday after Black Friday. And the total sales for my clothing brand through Shopify up until November 22nd, so from November 1st until November 21st, was $22,229.54. So of the total $68,320 that was generated in the month of November, 22,000 of that or so was generated up until November 21st, right before the Black Friday sale, and all of the rest happened in the last week of November during the Black Friday sale. And of the total amount of money that I spent on advertising in the whole month of November, which was $16,162.45, $9,265 of that was spent just during Black Friday week. So more than half of the entire advertising budget for the month was spent in one week during that Black Friday sale. All right, so where are we at? Just a quick recap here. Spent roughly $16,000 on ads in the month of November and generated roughly $68,000 in sales. What I wanna share with you now is specifically during the Black Friday sale, how much revenue is generated each day throughout the sale so that you can see how this sale broke down in terms of which days performed best and how much revenue was generated on each day. So I'm gonna run through this pretty quickly here so that you can see it. The sale took place over eight days from the 22nd till the 29th. On the 22nd, we generated $6,887.18 in revenue. On the 23rd, $5,914.10. The 24th, $4,416.78. The 25th, $4,562.38. The 26th here, this is actual Black Friday, so the real Black Friday was our best day, $8,241.37. 
The 27th, we did $4,244.92. On the 28th, $5,893.37. And on the final last day, which was the Monday, $4,775.86. So you can see that there's some variation, but it stayed pretty consistent. And between those eight days from the 22nd to the 29th, in total, we did $44,935.96 in revenue. Now, one final thing to mention here for the month of November is I sent out three emails over the span of the eight days that my Black Friday sale was running. The first email generated $6,585.13 in revenue. 64 orders came directly from that first email. The second email generated $2,123.87 in revenue. 21 orders came from that email. And the last email that I sent generated $1,095.06. 11 orders came from that email. And the total revenue that was generated just from these three emails during this Black Friday sale was $9,804.06. I have a call scheduled with my bookkeeper in the next couple of hours to go over the numbers from this month and really break down the profits and where I'm at in inventory and things like that. But I really hope that showing you these numbers just gives you a good idea of how the month broke down. And I wanna share with you some of the lessons that I took out of this month, things that I do differently moving forward because even though this month was really good for me and I did really well, there's some things that I could still improve on and do differently. So the first thing would be I cut it really close with the inventory. What I did was I launched new products in September and I wanted to feel out those new releases and just kind of see how they were doing before stocking up massively for Black Friday. A lot of them ended up selling really well. And so I put in a new order for inventory in the first week of October. So I basically gave my production company a month to have everything done and get everything to us. And it, it was like so down to the wire in terms of getting that inventory in time in order to sell it that I wish I could go back in time and just have ordered that like a month earlier, just bit the bullet and done it so that we weren't cutting it so close. Like I almost missed out on Black Friday this year. I was going into Black Friday with not a lot of inventory, kind of freaking out. Thank God the inventory arrived on time and we had everything to be able to sell all of this. And you know, another lesson would be just to order even more inventory than the amount of inventory that I had. Because even though I got all the inventory in time, there still wasn't enough in some items. And I probably could have done way more in sales than I ended up doing because I ran out of stock in certain items that were selling like fire. And another lesson would have been to drop a couple new releases literally for the Black Friday sale. This came directly from my mentor who said that it worked absolutely amazing for his own clothing brand. He coupled his Black Friday sale with some new releases at the exact same time and he said that it absolutely smashed during Black Friday. So those are some lessons that I pulled out of it and uh, I really hope you enjoyed. If this video was valuable for you, you got a lot of insight out of it, please hit the like button for me. It really helps me get these videos out there and let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and you can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I want to tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.